Terah is also a place, Terra Exodus, Terra or Turich Hebrew, Terra Tura, Ibex, wild goat, or wanderer, loiterer, is a biblical figure in the book of Genesis, son of Nahor, son of Sarag and father of the patriarch Abraham, all descendants of Shem's son Arpashad. Tara is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, Genesis chapter 11 verses 26 to 27, Joshua chapter 24 verse 2 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verses 17 to 27 and New Testament. Topic: <laughs> Genesis narrative. Most of what is told about Tara is recorded in Genesis chapter 11 verses 26 to 28. Terah's father was Nahor, son of Sarag, descendants of Shem, v.10 They and many of their ancestors were polytheistic. Terah had three sons, Abram better known by his later name Abraham, Haran, and Nahor II, v.26 His daughter Sarai, was also his daughter-in-law, wife of Abram. The entire family, including grandchildren, lived in Ur of the Chaldees. V.31 One of his grandchildren was Lot, whose father, Haran, had died before the family left Ur. V.28 Terah's son Abram had an encounter with God, who directed him to take the entire family, leave Ur, and move to the land of Canaan. Terah coordinated the journey, intending to go to this new land, but stopped in the city of Haran v. along the way, where he died at the age of 205. V. 32. Topic. Family tree Topic. Terah in the Book of Joshua In his final speech to the Israelite leaders assembled at Shechem, Joshua recounts the history of God's formation of the Israelite nation, beginning with, Terah the father of Abraham and Nahor, who lived beyond the Euphrates River and worshipped other gods. Topic. Jewish tradition Topic. When Terah begat Abram Genesis chapter 11 verse 26 states that Terah lived 70 years, and he begat Abram, Nachor, and Haran. Rashi comments on the subsequent elaboration on the story of Abraham that Abraham was the gem of the chronology of Genesis chapter 11 which the Torah wanted to focus on. In the Jewish tradition, Genesis 11:26 teaches that Terah was 70 years old when he begat Abram. The Talmud says that Abraham was 52 years old at year 2000 AM Anno Mundi, which means that he was born in the year 1948 AM. Rashi explains this based on Abram being born when Terah was 70. While it is a given in Jewish tradition that Genesis 11:26 relates that Abram was born when Terak was 70, which is the basis of the current Jewish year, there is yet a question whether Abram was born first as listed, or perhaps he is listed first because he was the wisest similar to Shem, Ham, and Japheth where Shem was not the oldest, but was the wisest. Seder Olam Rabbah holds that Abram was the eldest, but the Talmud leaves the above question open. Topic. Terah's occupation According to rabbinical tradition Terah was a wicked Numbers Rabbah 19-1, idolatrous priest Midrash Haggadol on Genesis chapter 11 verse 28 who manufactured idols Eliyahu Rabbah 6, and Eliyahu Zuda 25. Abram, in opposition to his father's idol shop, smashed his father's idols and chased customers away. Terah then brought his unruly son before Nimrod, who threw him into a fiery furnace, yet Abram miraculously escaped Genesis 38 The Zohar says that when God saved Abram from the furnace, Terah repented Zohar Genesis 1 verse 77b and Rabbi Abba B. Kahana said that God assured Abram that his father Terah had a portion in the world to come Genesis 30-4, 30-12. Rabbi Hiyya relates this account in Genesis Rabbah. Terah left Abram to mind the store while he departed. A woman came with a plateful of flour and asked Abram to offer it to the idols. Abram then took a stick, broke the idols, and put the stick in the largest idol's hand. When Terah returned, he demanded that Abram explain what he'd done. Abram told his father that the idols fought among themselves and the largest broke the others with the stick. Why do you make sport of me? Terah cried, do they have any knowledge? Abram replied, listen to what you are saying. Topic. Leader of the journey 
Tara is identified as the person who arranged and led the family to embark on a mysterious journey to Canaan. It is shrouded in mystery to Jewish scholars as to why Tara began the journey and as to why the journey ended prematurely. It is suggested that he was a man in search of a greater truth that could possibly be found in the familiar land of Canaan, and that it was Abram who picked up the torch to continue his father's quest, that Tara himself was unable to achieve. When Abram leaves Haran In Jewish tradition, when Terah died at age 205, Abraham 70 years younger was already 135 years old. Abram thus left Haran at age 75 well before Terah died. The Torah, however, relates Terah's death in Haran before Abram continues the journey to Canaan as an expression that he was not remiss in the mitzvah of honoring a parent by leaving his aging father behind. The significance of Terah not reaching Canaan, was a reflection of his character, a man who was unable to go all the way. Though on a journey in the right direction, Terah fell short at arriving to the divine destination, in contrast to Abram, who did follow through and achieved the divine goal, and was not bound by his father's idolatrous past. Abram's following God's command to leave his father, thus absolved him from the mitzvah of honoring parents, and as Abraham, he would go on to create a new lineage distinct from his ancestors. Samaritan tradition In the Samaritan Pentateuch Terah dies aged 145 years and Abram leaves Haran after his death. Christian tradition In the Christian tradition Abram left Haran after Terah died. The Christian views of the time of Terah come from a passage in the New Testament at Acts chapter 7 verses 2-4 where Stephen said some things that contrast with Jewish rabbinical views. He said that God appeared to Abraham in Mesopotamia, and directed him to leave the Chaldeans, whereas most rabbinical commentators see Terah as being the one who directed the family to leave ur from Genesis chapter 11 verse 31. Terah took his son Abram, his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and his grandson Lot, his son Haran's child, and left Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. Stephen asserts that Abram left Haran after Terah died. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Islamic tradition. In some Islamic sects, Abraham's father is believed to have been a disbelieving man, due to his refusal to listen to the constant advice of his son. In fact, the earliest story involving Abraham in the Quran is his discussion with his ab Arabic, ab which can mean father. The name given for this man in the Quran is Azar Arabic, Azaru though Arab genealogists related the name of Abraham's father as Tara Arabic. Topic. Abraham's advice. As a father, Azar required his son's most sincere advice. Ibrahim, after receiving his first revelations from Allah, invited his father to the way of Islam. Abraham explained to him the faults of idolatry, and why he was wrong to worship objects which could neither hear nor see. From the Quran 74 6. And mention, O Muhammad, when Abraham said to his Abba Azar, Do you take idols as deities? Indeed, I see you and your people to be in manifest error. Abraham told his father that he had indeed received revelations from God, knowledge which his father did not possess, and told him that belief in Allah would grant him immense rewards in both this life and the hereafter. Abraham concluded his preaching by warning Azar of the grave punishment he would face if he did not mend his ways. When Abraham offered his father the guidance and advice of Allah, he rejected it, and threatened to stone him to death. Abraham prayed for his father to be forgiven by God, and although he continued to seek forgiveness, it was only because of a promise that he had made earlier to him. When it became clear that Azar's unrelenting hatred towards monotheism would never be fought, Abraham dissociated himself from him. Topic. Wreckage of the idols The Quran states that the people of Abraham were idolaters. When Abraham was a young boy, he decided to finally teach his community a lesson. He said to himself that he had a plan for their idols, whilst they would be gone away. The Quran goes on to narrate that Abraham subsequently broke the idols, all except the largest, which he kept intact. 
When the people returned, they began questioning each other over the wreckage, until some of the people remembered that the youth, Abraham, had spoken of the idols earlier. When Abraham arrived, the people immediately began to question him, asking him whether he had anything to do with the broken idols. Abraham then, in a clever taunt, asked the people as to why they do not ask the largest of the idols, which, they believed, could indeed hear and speak. The people of Abraham were then confounded with shame, and admitted that the idols were incapable of anything. Topic. Abraham is thrown into the fire. After the incident of the idol wreckage, the people of Abraham, while having admitted their fault, are said to have ignored Abraham's warning and instead retaliated by throwing him into a fire and exclaiming, Protect your gods! Although the natural nature of fire is one of intense heat, God commanded the flame to be cool and peaceful for Abraham. Abraham, as a result, remained unhurt both physically and spiritually, having survived the fire of persecution. The people continued to taunt and persecute him, but to no avail, as the Quran says that it was they that lost most. This means that Abraham came out unharmed and outstanded people. Topic. Shiite views Topic. Terah the Father The Twelver Shiite website al-islam.org treats Azar as being Abraham's uncle, not his biological father. To justify this view, it references a passage of the Quran, which mentions that the sons of Yaqub Arabic, ya Jacob referred to his uncle as Meel Arabic, Ais ma iyl Ishmael, father as Haq Arabic, Ais ha ak Isaac and grandfather Ibrahim Arabic, Abrahi ym Abraham as his Abba Arabic, Abba Were you there to see when death came upon Yaqub? When he said to his sons, What will you worship after I am gone? They replied, We shall worship your God and the God of your Abba, Ibrahim, as meal, and as Haq, one single God, we devote ourselves to him. Quote, quote. Therefore, the singular word Ab does not always mean progenitor, and can be used for an adopter, uncle, stepfather, or caretaker, unlike the word Walid Arabic, Wali d progenitor. Thus, al-Islam.org denies that Abraham's biological father was Azar, and instead agreed with Ibn Kathir that he was the biblical figure Tara, who nevertheless treated him as a polytheist. In Dua Umme Dawood, a supplication recited by Shia Muslims cited to be from the sixth Imam of Shia Islam Jafar al-Sadiq, the supplicant sends blessings on a person by the name of Taurak. Topic. Tara the uncle In contrast to al-Islam.org, Shia scholar and jurist Muhammad Taqi al-Madaresi believed Tara to be the uncle of Abraham, not his father. References <laughs> <laughs>